Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Payday 2. I'm gonna do another live com. Um first biggest thing to note is I'm not wearing that fucking Clinton mask anymore. And that's because uh my friend actually helped me grind that out. Um we were just kinda sitting here, we were gonna play a game. Well we're gonna play a heist, and he's like, You wanna just grind that out? Cause he's like, I'm tired of looking at that, and I'm like, yeah, same. So we ended up grinding it out. I have the achievement, so I don't have to wear it anymore, which means I can wear like literally any of my masks. Um, I'll go through and show you what masks I have custom and all that real quick and then we'll just jump into a quick match So that's my overkill skull um, What is still waters is the material I have on it That's how it ends up looking like I really like the look of that like it looks like it's almost chrome. It's really nice This is my uh, Steven mask. I think it's leather material and I threw a pattern on it and Almost like a travel pattern and then just some colors. It's black and navy blue possibly or just regular blue. It's my Jean-Claude mask. Um, it looks like Winnie the Pooh with this material. This is just the Inferno material. Nothing else and it literally li bleh, tongue tied. Literally just looks like Winnie the Pooh so I threw that on there for the hell of it. It's my Wild West Classics. I really like this mask. I would uh, definitely change the uh, material though. I used Inferno as well for this. I would probably use something more... Um, not as glossy so I would probably use something like uh, like leather or something the only thing is I don't have the same colors so if I take it apart I'm not gonna get the colors back so this is my rest begins mask oops it's the one I'm wearing right now the only thing I would change about that is the colors I would use like black and red instead of black magenta but it's what I had at the time and I wanted the black so but I think it looks really cool because now it makes it like a skull wearing like a gold helm with their like detail so it's kind of cool if you haven't seen his original mask I'll show it to you in a second this is my Tony mask um basically it's I think it's the luchador pattern and then it's like a I can't remember what the material was but that's what you see underneath that's why it's like green like that and then it is it pure orange yeah it's pure orange for the uh, color this is my desert skull this is probably one of my favorites um, I can't remember the material on it, but the pattern is what cuts it in half. It adds like a zebra side to that, and a little bit like that, and the colors to it just absolutely completes it. My Anubis mask, it's alright. It's nothing major. It's my, uh, famine mask. It's alright too. My war mask. It's glossy. Uh, the Plague Doctor, it's alright. Nothing fancy. Uh, the Hard Hat. Oro. I really like this one just because of the material on it. It makes it look like it's actually like a relic or something. And that's pretty much it. I rock out with the, the heat sometimes too. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I'll show you Rust's mask real quick. And then we'll get on way. You'll see. What am I doing? This is what his normal mask looks like, so it just looks like a regular clown mask. But as you see, I threw that pattern, so it kind of makes it look like he's wearing a helm. Then this stays white, so it looks like a skull. Um, the material I use makes it look gold, and then, yeah. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and throw this one on, because, like I said, it's my favorite. Right now, I'm rocking out with the Clarion. I was using the saw because we were doing a, uh, a heist, a bank heist. And um, I think it was the first, first world bank. So I brought my saw along. But anyways, I will be using the clarion rifle. I'll show you what it looks like right now. I'm just going to change one thing on it. This thing, by the way, is fun as hell to use. I definitely recommend it. I'll show you everything I have on it right now. So I have the suppressed barrel. Now you would think this is shitty, but I mean it literally makes no noise and it doesn't reduce damage at all. It actually increases accuracy. So I would definitely highly recommend using this, even just to try it out. I normally would use the uh, sniper barrel, but because I have the suppressed barrel now, oh my god, I love it. Um, the only thing is, using the suppressed barrel, you can't use any barrel extensions. But I think it's a wor it's it might not be the best trade off because I usually use competitor's compensator and it boosts a lot of shit, but. I have the damage boost on it, custom is auto fire, gadget, I'm always using the LED combo grip, I got that G2 grip. Sights, 
like I said, I always run speculator sites, but I've been switching up recently just to try out uh, all the different ones. So I think uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll try out the Seymour site. All in all, I really like the speculator site. Like, it's still going to be my favorite, like, forever, but... Like I said, I've been trying out the other ones. And then, uh, Sierra805, you already know what it is. You already know what it looks like. The only thing I'm changing on it, because the only thing that would have been different from the last time you've seen it, it's the site right now. It has the Surgeon site. Um, the only site I don't like so far that I've tried or that I can remember is the ACOG scope. Just because of how big it is, I don't like that it covers, like, all of my screen. But besides that, I'm going to throw on the combat site and see how that one goes. For the longest time, I didn't know you could switch reticles until I actually stopped and looked at it. I was like, wait, what? And then I realized you could do that. I was like, oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna rock out with everything else that I have pretty much. Should all be good. Let's get ourselves a heist. Let's get something good too. What's up for side jobs? No good side jobs. Um. the cooperation of the district attorney now your colleague is having a reach I could try this the Hawks and breakout one the only problem is I'm not like I don't have any friends online right now that can play so you guys have seen counterfeit a bunch of times Fuck it, let's do it. For your former colleague to have a retrial. However, this trial is a farce. We'll wait for someone in the lobby. I'm still grinding out to uh, 25th. I'm 1290 something right now. You'll see it in a second when we get to the game. The wall to the lobby anyways. 1291. waiting for loading and then I can join in I'll just start playing and then when other people join in we'll just go from there I just got to be careful because it's overkill but I should be alright because I'm rocking some deadly weapons now I always forget about this package but there is a package behind us I don't mind this site I still like the red dot better but it's not bad how about this other one this one's not bad either. Like I said, the only one I don't like is the ACOG because it literally covers your whole screen and it just keeps you so zoomed in and shit. My game freeze. Okay. Thought my game was crashing or some shit. Alright. So. Hmm. It's usually one there. Just gonna turn those down. Gotta move this. Cop right there. Try to shoot at me. Yeah, like I said, this thing is absolutely amazing. Probably turn the sound effects back up just a little bit, but the music I can leave down. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go straight. Guy's dead. A lot of tasers, holy shit. Just waiting to get a pick on that shield. Cool thing I didn't know about is that you can put uh, ammo, right ammo on the back of the truck like that. Never mind. You used to be able to put ammo like in the back of the truck, but I guess they patched that. Okay. I got road spikes up ahead. That's kind of unfortunate. 
Because the ammo in the back of the truck was super useful and no one knew about it. I remember I was reading the last patch notes that just came out and they fixed the uh, the whole switching between guns because before when you switch between your guns your laser pointer would be off when you switch to the next gun but they fixed that so now it stays on so for instance I got my laser pointer on my FAMAS switch switch it's still on it used to never be like that they also did a lot for certain missions and uh, certain other things too like I run the one perk, I forget, I think it's like the marksman perk or something, so I can just, uh, no it's not marksman, it's something else. But anyways, I run the one perk where you can like literally tag anything out by looking at it, if it's like a special or something like that. And it's super useful. But uh, you can never, you never used to be able to tag turrets out. Now I can just look at the turret and bam, it's tagged out. There he is, right there. Driver. This might be a pain in the ass if I get to the second part and have to do this by myself. At best though, I could grind out for that, well, grind out. I could get that one achievement, uh, Situation Normal. It's for beating this level without using a single key card on Overkill. I was gonna get it last night when I was playing with my friend in two randoms. But then the one guy just decided to use his key card at the end, even though I clear like I full out said in the chat that I was gonna save my key card for the end, and I thought it was all good. And then he never ended up using it for anything, so I like said it flat out. I'm like, well, we haven't used a key card yet. Do you mind waiting the whole like minute, so that way you can get that achievement? And then he just puts it in, and I'm like, all right, it's whatever though. I'll get it some other time. I know I can. Oh, well, might as well take him as prisoner. Turret has me pinned down, Jesus Christ. There's another one, of course. There's always another one, though. But yeah, like I said, this part's not what worries me. It's when I get to uh, the next part. A lot of that shit's gonna be hard by myself, but should be fine. Really? That's new too. I'm pretty sure they never used to drive that close to the gate. Pretty sure you used to be able to slip by the gate, like in front of it there. Oh well. Okay, so I gotta find the right door. I think I'm gonna start this way and head up. So there's two, yeah, two doors here. If I had brought C4 with me, if I had a C4 class, it would make this mission go a lot faster. Even my saw, or would have left my saw class on, brought my saw, that would have been useful. But it's alright. Someone's finally joining, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Nope, not there. Bunch of people joining now, shit. The bollards will be controlled remotely. Security officer something. Find it and get them down. Switch my gun before I enter the wrong building. The wrong room, I guess. That's pretty cool. Two more up here I gotta try. Holly to champ. <laughs> right on, right on. Fairy dust. Gonna run by all these guys. Fuck them. Well, what you did with that bulldozer back there was a bit. I think you need help, mate. Control room has to be here somewhere. Watch it be the last one we open too, with our luck. C4 
see, we'll see. Got it. Right on, right on. Pretty sure I don't know. Pretty sure these guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and I'm getting tasered. Let's move the truck up. Two. On right on. Hey James, follow me now. Couldn't get a proper brew at that place. Old green tea and old grey bollocks. Break the door. No, no, he knows what's up. Strip the armor off the truck. Jesus Christ. Right on, right on. That was a good first mission. Did you miss me, you wankers? <laughs> My stats there for you guys. Alright, next mission. Well, next heist. Next day, I guess I should say. pouring outside all day i absolutely love it we've had no rain this summer at all it's been horrible i can't remember what video i was recording when it was raining i think it was uh death road to canada Just started pouring out i was like well it's everyone rocking anyways all right Get your fucking weapons ready. Trucks fucked. I'll secure a right out. Don't want to see operation in our first stop. From there, we should be able to find what we need. Fucking on the ground. Stay put. Stay still. This gun ain't a prop, you know. Got it. Tell him right now. There was a guy over here. Oh, there he is. He is. So far, so good. There. There we go. All the pack, just too nice. Normally I don't sit in this uh, main room, but I might just be doing that this room. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'll try what I normally do, and if it doesn't work out, then I'll sit back. That was a cloaker. That's a taser. This is probably one of my favorite guns in this game. 
just because it holds a lot of ammo and it's a pretty solid gun doesn't really have a whole lot of recoil uh does a fair amount of damage i want to get tasered Here. Fuck you, shield fuck. Right on, right on. Fuck shield. I took care of fuck ass shield. Took all that ammo. Even though I have two first aids or first aids, I have two uh cool. Two ammo bags. That's what I meant to say. I always hate the damage indicator sometimes. They're never like 100% accurate. Hopefully someone stays in there and pays attention a lot. Like I said, I normally don't sit in there when I'm playing this heist. I'm normally always like right here. I'm always holding down this left side. Depending what I have and whatnot, sometimes like who I'm with, hold down the middle, but it's rare. Or not the middle, but the room. Help this guy. Stay with whoever's carrying the server. It's heavy. Don't leave him behind. Kill that snipe. Up. Uh, up. I guess the army one. Sydney, come on. Keep up. Should be alright. Got that guy. Shit, there's another one. Him. I took care of punk ass. Him. Probably have the highest special killer by the time this is done. Behind the wall, shit. I got the bitch ass shield. Sydney, follow me now. I can take that thing out hella fast, but not when I'm getting shot at and shit. Not why I can't aim either, fuck. Spray down that. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm getting tased. Yep. I'm gonna just let them talk it out. Apparently, I can't shoot that guy. Definitely gotta drop my ammo bag soon. Up for a second. Suck it, Taser. Power's back 
Back. I didn't even see that that guy ran out. Would have helped him. Some pretty Not shitty shooting. There it is right there. One, two. Just the one. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Let's get back in the game, fellas. The extraction team keeps freeing civilians. You gotta do something about it. Alright, looks like some witness testing on his from missing. Gonna have to hit the hard copy. Stay on cut and grab him. Show me your bitch ass hands. Taser's his bitch. Guess I'll do all the hard work. That's a first. I've never seen them drop down into here before. They would like literally never come down here before. Seven seconds. I got it. Get looking through the records. Find those testimonies. Don't push me out. Get up. Jesus Christ. Well, so far so good. I feel like I kind of stopped talking there for a minute. I was really trying to focus up, make sure I got these two guys, make sure I didn't get cloakered and shit. While the other guy was getting the files, but I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're definitely good. I don't think we're not going to not beat this mission. I just think it's going to be rough for the other two. Yeah, I don't mind this site. It's a nice site. It'd be better if I needed, like, help with my long range or shit. I mean, <laughs> that's really no good example of it, but... My long range isn't horrible, so... But you know what I mean though, like that site's like specifically for long range, like this is more of like a short, well medium range I guess, but like you see how it zooms in and shit, that's what, kind of what I mean. I the way he's using for a secondary. Move it. No sniper on that side though, so...
Fuck that. Salt team for you. 20 seconds roughly. Got it. I'm gonna let him get it. Fuck shield is dead. Out of here. why I love that fucking SMG. You literally can tank dozers so fast. My god. Taser up there. Fuck off, fuck yeah, Taser. Drop it, Sniper somewhere. Other side too, eh? Got him. I really get to it, holy shit. Someone else got it, never mind. Oh, no, wait, no. Thought they did. Ah, mistake. We can do it. On right on. That guy's going down again, 100%. Oh, he's oh, oh, more ammo. Load up, and if the captain's here, I'll take out the captain. If not, well, I might not be able to. I only have two dynamite, but I'll definitely damage him. As long as they hold the operations room, we should be good. Top there. All right, taser somewhere. I don't like that sound. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. Then a 16-minute mission so far. It would normally go a little bit quicker than this if the uh, power hadn't gone out a couple times there, and if we were like more. Organized as a team, I guess you'd say. But regardless, this isn't bad. I mean, no one's been uh, captured or anything like that, so. <coughs> I had to sneeze, Jesus. Still looks like it's raining outside. Get a move on. Concentrate desperate. They're launching a final assault. Don't let them stop you. 
You guys all finished? On reload, reload. follow me. Get a fucking move on. Hands in the fucking air. Hands up, punk. Captain just showed up. Hey, Bodie, follow me. No one will look twice at us in this ride. Get in. Well, we made it. I was close. Yeah. 18 minutes there. I don't remember how long the first one did. It wasn't horrible, but it definitely, that's probably one of the best missions to do, that one, and, um, the, uh, shit, which one is it? Uh, the Goat Heist, just because it gives you so much experience and so much money, like, look at that, 13 million offshore, holy fuck. That's the mission you grind out when you need XP and or definitely when you need the offshore cash. See what we get. Another Jean Claude. Hate having a stuffed nose. Sorry, guys. Well, anyways, that was a nice little video. Leave that lobby. And that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like for having a say. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.